Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Classified Captures. Get ready for a heart-pounding experience that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Buckle up as we dive straight into the excitement. I know what you're thinking. What in the world of bird mysteries is happening here? Is this some kind of funky pigeon mutation or what? Turns out this wild-looking bird goes by the name the Dutch Cropper. This flamboyant bird isn't just a looker, it's got some fascinating features. A medium-sized pigeon with an elongated body, a graceful arched neck, and the head held high like it's in a perpetual state of pride. When it's feeling extra fancy or trying to impress its bird buddies, it inflates this special bladder, adding a touch of charm to its already striking appearance as we can see right under its beak. They're known to be the largest fancy pigeon breed in the Netherlands and like the royalty of the pigeon world, strutting around with their own built-in regal accessory. This is the kind of bird that adds a touch of glamour to the avian scene. The woods seem to get more dangerous as the days go by, and even hiking alone has become a problem. I know you would be wondering why I'm saying that. To answer, let's take a look at this next clip. Out in the woods, a hiker found himself lost and trying to navigate his way back when he noticed something approaching. Assuming it was a panther, he decided to hide. However, as the creature drew nearer, it turned out to be something even more perplexing. The creature had a face that resembled a dog, a long snout and dark fur. What made it peculiar was its posture. It was standing on its hind legs, lucky it seemed preoccupied and didn't notice the hiker just a few steps away. What type of creature could that be? Naturally, a dog man or a werewolf comes to mind. This fortunate hiker went out innocently for a walk, but for his keen observation skills, he would never have returned home. And that leaves us asking one simple question. Are we not safe hiking anymore? Is nature now playing magic tricks on us? A man was driving by a field when he noticed something strange. As he looked through his window, he saw a brush burning, so he parked to check it out. But that's where things get odd. When he looked out this time, the fire was gone. When he went back into the car and looked out through his glass window, he noticed the fire. But when he tried to use his naked eyes, there was simply nothing there. I mean, how is this even possible? The thing is, well, we don't know, but even David Blaine could never stop or explain this strange phenomenon. Our next footage is one of the reasons why we shouldn't mess around in the woods. This video was taken by an adventurer who went into the woods at night. I don't know about the reason why he did this, but I'm sure he's never going near the forest for a while. As he was roaming, he caught sight of this hideous creature in the woods. The creature had strange burnt-like skin. Its fingers were clawed and its ears were pointed. I don't know, but if you ask me, it looks like some sort of demonic dwarf. Naturally, our adventurer who saw this creature did not waste any more time there. He left as fast as his tired legs would allow him. I mean, who knows what else was roaming the woods and who knows what their response to his presence could be. Either way, does any of you know with certainty what this is or do I need to hit the paranormal books? Imagine buying a pet turtle and coming home one day to see it floating above your tiled floor. What on earth is this, and are animals now learning spells too? If you look closely around its legs, you may see what looks like rags holding them. But look again, do you see it now? They look like many humans swimming with it. 
Are these the beings responsible for the strange things that we are seeing? Or is the turtle their master, and they're simply there to do what it desires? It's hard to say, and we couldn't find anything of this sort in our paranormal books. Can anyone amongst you help us with any explanation? Whilst we try to find answers to the previous footage, I believe that the next footage will leave your jaw dropping to the ground. And I mean literally. A person found these strange things floating around his brother's house. They looked like smoke, but they were oddly luminous and in weird shapes. The thing, however, is that they seemed like they were frozen in time, and you and I know that's not how smoke looks or functions. According to him, they suddenly appeared in the house. When you study the footage, there's no justification for something like that existing. The man swears it's not a hoax and certainly not CGI because they don't have the expertise, skills, or money for that. So what do you think we're dealing with here? What a man thought would be some quality bonding time with his son ended with them running out of the woods in terror. This man had gone walking with his little boy in the woods. As they had settled in an area just enjoying nature, the man heard some footsteps behind him. So he took out his camera and started looking around. That is when he caught a glimpse of a dark figure a feet away from them. The man didn't see what it was, but something in him just told him to get the hell out of there. Without wasting time, he told his son to start running while he followed behind. They ran for a while and came to a stop. When he looked back, he saw that the dark figure was still after them, but luckily they had put a safe distance between them and it. To this day, no one knows what was there, but the man's instincts proved that whatever it was, it was not safe to be around it. All right, hold up. Are we witnessing the return of medieval shenanigans or what? Forget humans wrestling humans. Apparently, we're going back to the days when folks grappled with bears for kicks. Two beings, one human, one bear, having what seems like the weirdest play date ever. And get this, they both looked like they were having a blast. It's like a bizarre version of Fight Club, where the first rule is apparently have fun. Now, call me crazy, but I thought we'd moved on from wrestling with bears. Wasn't that a thing in medieval times when boredom levels were off the charts? But here we are in the 21st century with what looks like a bear-human wrestling match for sheer amusement. I guess we've not seen it all yet. Though I don't approve, you have to admit it's impressive that the man was able to hold the weight of the creature as long as he did. There are theories that before the human race, there were beings that roamed the earth, some half human and half animal. These beings were later worshipped as gods on earth. So when scientists discovered this mummy locked in a box in a Japanese temple, they were curious to find out what this creature could be. Obviously, they could see that the creature was half human and half fish. But how? Despite probing and researching and asking questions, they can't find any scientific basis for the existence of this creature. This leaves us with questions. Could it be a spiritual being materialized, which is why they can't find anything on it, or are we looking at an elaborate hoax passed down for centuries? Well, no one knows for sure. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos like this for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. This diver just looked at death in the face, and I mean literally. She had strapped on her diving suit and was a second away from jumping into the sea when she spotted a huge creature emerging from the water. She backed down and moved backwards, only to see a huge shark with its mouth wide open waiting for her to jump right in. Thankfully, quick thinking and a sixth sense saved her from going on an involuntary shark date. It's like a real-life thriller, a diver who dodged jaws. 
Note to self, sometimes it's okay to bail on that daring dive if your gut says, no, well, yeah, maybe not today. A man captured something strange going on outside his house on his security camera. It all began when he spotted a dark figure standing in the middle of the road opposite his house. This dark figure looks like a person on a black road. As this stranger stood there facing the house, a car light began to reflect, indicating that a car was approaching. Naturally, he expected the strange person to get off the road, but the person just stood there unmoving until something bizarre happened. The car passed right through it, making the homeowner alarmed. However, the dark figure was still in place. Disturbed by what he'd seen, the homeowner came out to see for himself, which he figured was still there. Unfortunately, or rather fortunately, as soon as he steps out, the entity disappears. If it had not been caught on camera, no one would believe him. Oh my goodness, humanity is doomed. Just take a look at this footage. If you've not seen the movie Life, then you'll not understand why I'm panicking. This dark mass attempting to swallow the crab, and it reminds me of Calvin from the movie. I mean, it just looks the same. Fingers crossed that it's just a case of internet trickery, because if not, we might be looking at a real-life remake of life, and that's a horror scenario none of us have signed up for. Naturally, I did some digging around and discovered that there's a possibility of it being a marine flatworm. If you don't know anything about these creatures, perhaps you may want to go back and look them up now before you find yourself exclaiming, We are Venom. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. Please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Now, what do we have here? Some possessed insect? Well, that's what I thought when I saw it, but turns out this creature is what we call a wasp mantid fly. Just imagine a wasp and a praying mantis deciding to have a bizarre love child. That's the wasp mantid fly for you. It's got the sleek, slender body of a wasp, but those front legs, pure mantis vibes. It looks like the insect world decided to experiment with genetic fusion just to keep things interesting. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. This critter is a bit of a predator, with the taste for small insects and larvae. When it's mealtime, it goes all ninja with those mantis-like legs snatching up its prey with precision. But wait, there's more. The wasp mantid fly has a neat trick up its sleeve. It's able to mimic the appearance of wasps, rocking the yellow and black colors to confuse both predators and unsuspecting prey. Let's just say that if you lived in the insect world, this would be the last creature you would want to encounter. The rate at which mythical creatures are making an appearance these days is alarming. In this footage, a man filmed two men in yellow protective gear from head to toe coming toward a river. The men were holding a net, but their attire was not something you would wear to a fishing trip unless something fishy was going on. So the person filming hid himself as he watched the men walk into the shallow part of the water to retrieve something. They caught it in the net and brought it to land. As they put the creature down, something curious happened. A long fishtail resembling that of a stereotypical mermaid fell down. Did these men just catch a mermaid? Looking at the color of its tail, I'm tempted to ask what if the creature and things we saw in the Little Mermaid are not as unreal as we think they are? What if these creatures are actually out there and a danger to us? A taxi driver was parked on the side of the road when something scares him out of his car. Initially, he was making a phone call when he saw something in the rearview mirror moving behind him. Being the only one in the car, he quickly turned to look at what it was, and there he saw his answer. 
the ghostly face of a child looking back at him. The face was pale and had dark circles around its eyes. Once he saw what he saw, the scared man rushed out of the car. Fortunately, or not, the security camera in the car was on, so it captured the ghostly intruder. When he finally mustered the courage to go back to the vehicle, he reviewed the footage and asked the paranormal experts online for clarity. So what do you think? Kangaroos are such bullies in wildlife. They will just grab onto anything that comes toward them. Take a look at the situation here. A man went out with his three dogs when he realized one was missing. He went searching for it when he spotted it in the river under the tight grip of a kangaroo. He held onto the dog's neck so tightly in the water that the dog was getting out of breath. Luckily, the owner came right on time to rescue his pet, but not after his phone got smacked into the water and the kangaroo attempted to attack him as well. But he did come out safely with all three dogs, except for one panting for breath, and the owner ended up with a few scratches from the kangaroo's claws. The trail cam owner was startled when he came across an image on his device. Not knowing what it was, he posted the image to Facebook hoping to get the opinion of others. The picture in question is this image that you see on your screen. You can see a dog-like creature standing on its two legs. The creature had a pair of eerily glowing eyes and was staring straight into the camera. Facebook users were left with a flood of theories on what this could be. While others held the notion that it was a dogman, others said this could be a possessed canine and some truly believed it was a goblin of sorts. So what do you guys also think this is? Nature's throwing us another curveball and this time it's ants staging a weird forest dance. Imagine stumbling upon this oddity in the heart of the woods, a bunch of ants locked in a mysterious circle, all hustling around a peculiar white stone. Now, animals are like Mother Nature's early warning system, right? So when you spot ants behaving like they just discovered the insect version of a dance floor, it's bound to raise some eyebrows. They're all in this circular hustle, seemingly fixated on a white stone at the center, and there's the strange white fluid on the grass, adding an extra layer of intrigue. What's the deal, Mother Nature? Is this an ant rave or a secret insect council meeting? Are they summoning ant deities, or is it just an oddly organized ant picnic? Once again, we're faced with a spectacle that leaves us questioning Mother Nature. A boat that set sail to catch fish came across a mysterious passenger. This invited passenger came disguised as a catfish, but when one of the men aboard went poking at it, this so-called catfish, instead of fins, had crab claws. Realizing this is not a typical member of the ocean dwellers, the man decided to push the fish back into the water but it looked like it actually enjoyed being out of the water and wanted to teach the man a lesson or two before going back. Now the question is, what type of fish are we dealing with here? I mean, it's not every day you see a fish with crab claws for fins, so how is this even possible? Unless this is a species on its own or a mudfish and a crab interbred, I don't know what the logical explanation for this could be. Do you? In a quiet suburban neighborhood, a local supermarket owner had the most unexpected visit of his life. It was supposed to be a day like any other, but as he glanced out the window, he couldn't believe his eyes. A bear was rambling toward his shop. Its furry form, an unusual sight amidst the neatly organized aisles of groceries. Quick thinking and not wanting the bear to roam around his store, the owner rushed to secure the entrance. He placed an object against the door, a makeshift barricade to deter the curious creature. But that bear was not easily discouraged. With a mixture of curiosity and determination, it began to test the door. Its persistence was evident as it tugged and pushed, refusing to be thwarted by a mere door. 
The owner watched with a mix of awe and trepidation as the bear's efforts paid off and the dory yielded to its strength. With the barrier now removed, the bear had achieved its goal and stepped inside. What happened next? Well, it's a tale that local residents would remember for quite some time. A surprising encounter that turned a routine day at the supermarket into an unforgettable story of a bear's unwavering determination to explore the aisles. Next, imagine you're out in the woods with a friend or some significant other. You're having what's like the perfect romantic date when you start hearing strange sounds. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? That's exactly what's happening to the couple in this footage. So guess what they did? Instead of moving away to a new spot, they decided to investigate. They started calling out in the direction of the sounds, and they got a response. But it didn't sound human. After listening several times ourselves, we can't make it out either. They then did what any of us would do in such a situation, ran as fast as they could out of the place. Can't say I blame them. It's the most logical thing to do, don't you think? Encounters with mysterious and potentially menacing intruders can be deeply unsettling, especially when they defy easy explanations. In this case, a person on a farm spots an intruder from a distance, but what they see is not someone they could simply approach and ask to leave the property. As they zoom in on the footage, the features of the creature come into focus, and it bears a striking resemblance to the elusive rake. The fear and uncertainty of the situation leave the farmer standing at a distance watching the creature with a mix of awe and trepidation. The woods, dense with tall trees and lush green leaves bathed in sunlight on a hot afternoon. A deeper shade of green can be seen in the distance. Looking closely between the trees, we notice the presence of a dark and tall figure with an eerie appearance. The creature has a dark, dog-like face and it's walking on two legs. It brings to mind the legendary Dog Man, which only a few have had the opportunity to meet. For those who don't know, the Dog Man is a humanoid figure with a dog-like face. It doesn't in any way behave like your everyday cute pups and wouldn't hesitate to take you out if it had to. This makes me wonder if this capture was taken near human settlements. If it was, then their lives might just be at stake. Sometimes you stumble upon something that bends your perception of reality, and this footage is a perfect example. In the video, there are two buildings almost like colossal bookends with a truck nestled in between. Now, at first glance, this might seem like a typical urban scene, but when you take a closer look at the truck, things take a surreal twist. The truck appears to be defying gravity, almost as if it's been parked on the side of one of the buildings pointing upward toward the sky. This optical illusion is truly mind-bending and can make your brain do somersaults trying to make sense of it. Of course, there's likely a logical explanation, perhaps related to the camera angle or the design of the buildings, but this visual puzzle still leaves you with a sense of wonder and amazement. It's making my brain do cartwheels. While it's common to witness animals perching on trees as if it were an everyday marketplace affair, I'm still utterly flabbergasted. It's the second time I've been proven wrong. Goats are exceptional climbers too. The location of this video clip remains unknown, yet it's clear the camera was strategically positioned to capture this astounding sight. White goats scaling an impressively tall palm tree. That alone doesn't suffice. It raises questions about whether these goats are specifically trained or controlled to perform this feat. 
Could the recorder have inadvertently placed the camera upside down? <laughs> well, forgive me for sounding skeptical, but the palm tree stands upright except for the apparent slant or curvy posture to it. Did I just describe a tree as being curvy? Oh, forgive me, but you get the idea, don't you? Either way, coming back to the video. If you know anything about goats, it's that they love to climb. I know that. All the members of the team know that. But it's simply hard to believe climbing palm trees was simply a part of their resume. Wild. So get this. The owner of this cottage was always hearing weird sounds around the place. He then decided to play detective and set up a camera one night to catch whatever was behind these surprise visits. And guess what? The camera spots a pair of eyes just chilling and staring intensely at the cottage. At first, everyone thought it was some big animal, right? But nope, on a closer look, turns out it's this creature with a human-like body and glowing eyes and it's moving around on all fours. Now here's the thing. Whatever that is, it doesn't look like any animal in that vicinity. This made them wonder what they were dealing with until one person mentioned that it matched the description of not one, but two creepy things, the infamous rake and the mysterious skinwalker. What's your take on everything? The allure of the unknown and the mysterious can sometimes lead to fascinating tales and unexpected discoveries. In the case of the Costa Rican fishermen back in 2011, their encounter with a peculiar sea creature must have been a thrilling experience. The creature's strange movements in the sea and its unfamiliar appearance sparked their curiosity, leading them to capture and bring it home to share their discoveries with others. It's not uncommon for such encounters to evoke thoughts of aliens or paranormal creatures, especially when faced with something entirely out of the realm of one's usual experiences. I dug deeper concerning this story and found many sources calling it a hoax, because the website that posted it had disappeared and the individual is also nowhere to be found. Given this circumstance, they concluded that the story was made up and that they probably altered an image of a stingray. What if that's not the situation, though? What if he found something and was captured to keep him silent? I guess we'll never know. If you thought the previous video was wild, then it's clearly because you haven't seen this. In this footage, we see a black furred creature being gently lulled to sleep. As if that's not already weird enough, a few seconds into the video, it appears to be working. The small creature has human-like hands, complete with black-colored nails. The creature's fingers appear smaller than those of a human. Its face has a cream and pinkish complexion, and its eyes opening and closing reveal black pupils. It's making a valiant effort to stay awake as if wanting to have the last laugh rather than succumb to sleep. What species of creature is it, though? You might be tempted to say monkey and ape, and while you might not be too far from the truth, I beg to differ. If you asked me, I'd say it does resemble a baby Bigfoot. Wouldn't you agree? History, the ultimate storyteller, always has surprises up its sleeve. Breaking the ancient narrative, archaeologists from the National University of San Marcos discovered a mummy not in the familiar sands of Egypt, but tucked away in an underground tomb in Peru. Imagine an exclusive resident of Egypt. This mummy was found in Kajamarquila, a significant site just over 15 miles from the coastal city of Lima. The body, carefully bound in ropes, lay curled up in a corner, its hand covering its face in a poignant pose. This archaeological gem, estimated to be between 800 and 1,200 years old, paints a vivid picture of a unique southern Peruvian funeral custom. 
While the mummy's initial pose may send a chill down your spine, researchers assure us it's a glimpse into a historical farewell. The tomb itself, a treasure trove, cradled not just the mummy, but also ceramics, vegetable remains, and stone tools. A beautiful blend of history and humanity, offering a moment of silence for the departed soul. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Well, honesty is the name of the game, and I've got to admit, a polar bear did cross my mind, but it seems like we both took a wrong turn. This trail camera, situated in the heart of the woods at night, captured something large and white. No head in sight, but it's got arms, a vacant spot where a head could be, and legs. Now, what in the world is this? Could it be some elaborate setup for an experiment, or a creature retiring to bed and just having to take off the big coat? Sounds funny, but I don't know how else to describe this. Do you? Many vast lands have gone to waste and don't seem to be wanted for keeps either, and the one in the next footage is no exception. The video showcases extensive plots of land marked with soil uplifts and incomplete grazing activities. Among the trees stands a figure dressed in stark white attire, so blindingly white that it's impossible to overlook. It remains stationary, its towering height standing out. Beyond its stature, little can be discerned about its other physical attributes. There is a belief that it might be connected to the numerous murder cases documented in the area. Some even suggest it's the spirit of one of the victims killed in the area. Looking at it, however, I believe there's more to the story than we're being let in on. Instead of a lost spirit, I'd want us to consider another possibility. It's a witch. If that's a far stretch, then possibly a member of a secret cult operating in the area. Before you dismiss it, take a good look at the figure in the footage. Do you not see that there's something ominous with it? Trail cams have a way of capturing intriguing and sometimes unsettling images. In this particular image, at first glance, you might think you are looking at a wolf. After all, it's common to capture various wildlife on these cameras. However, as you inspect the details more closely, the creature's face appears to have an uncanny resemblance to a human. The eyes, nose, mouth, and teeth do seem to bear an eerie similarity to human facial features. It's almost as if nature decided to blend the boundaries between the human and the animal kingdoms. The question that arises is whether this image is the result of clever editing or it's an actual capture of something truly extraordinary. Could it be an actual werewolf or dogman, or is it the result of someone's digital creation? This captivating snapshot captures the scene of a dense, ancient forest, a world where emerald green trees and vegetation seem to stretch to infinity. But let me pose a question. Can you see what lurks beyond these trees, concealed within the shadows of this primeval grove? I do see it, but everyone seems to think I'm seeing things. What say you? In the hidden depths beneath the endless waves, a remarkable and awe-inspiring moment unfolds. This intriguing footage appears to have been captured through the lens of a submersible as it encounters a colossal and enchanting creature lurking in the watery abyss. This astonishing sea-dweller, often described as a marine monster, boasts the form that defies conventional categorization. With a visual resemblance to a shark, but adorned with unusually dull teeth, it presents an appearance akin to a melting candle, its massive size dwarfing everything else in its vicinity. This mesmerizing spectacle evokes both wonder and mystery. It's unlike anything witnessed before, reminding us of the boundless mysteries that the deep oceans hold. 
The underwater world is a realm where fantastical creatures may still remain, hidden from our knowledge, and every discovery like this reminds us of the captivating secrets yet to be unveiled beneath the waves. Share your own thoughts and speculations about this extraordinary sea creature. It's evident that the ocean's mysteries run as deep as the waters themselves. This cat, or cat-like creature, appears considerably larger than your standard domesticated kitty. While the thought of an albino bobcat certainly raises excitement, the truth is, the wild and wonderful world of trail cam images often keeps us guessing. Could this be a rare albino bobcat, a stunning rarity that nature occasionally unveils? Or perhaps it's a member of an entirely different species, adding to the list of cryptic animals that capture our imagination. Whatever it is, this trail cam photo leaves us with plenty of room for speculation and delight in the mysteries of the animal kingdom. A group of foreigners have come across what one might call an exotic animal. Dark in appearance and with its seemingly lifeless body, this creature bears semblance to the snake and dinosaur creatures combined. It's not something you see every day. It has a long middle side from its head to the tail and four small legs. The footage is chaotic with a lot of voices in the background. <laughs> These voices might probably be wondering what it is as well. Do you know or perhaps have a theory? Please share it with us. Now, this is what I like to call a curious capture. The footage was taken in Thailand. Its appearance as a snake covered in fur is indeed unusual. One possibility that has been suggested is that it might be a water snake or a similar aquatic reptile covered in algae or plant material. However, the exact nature of this creature remains a mystery. What do you think we're dealing with here? Is this real or is someone messing with us? If it's real, what creature is it? Picture this mesmerizing scene, a smoky figure, ethereal and mysterious, spotted floating gracefully on a serene lake. As if that wasn't captivating enough, the creature starts to drift across the water, slowly vanishing only to be replaced by yet another smoky figure following suit. It's a sight that can leave you in awe and wonder or send shivers down your spine. It depends on the kind of person you are, really. As with many extraordinary sightings, there are always skeptics ready with their explanations. Some suggest that this isn't a supernatural event, but rather a machine or device cleverly designed to produce these smoke-like figures, adding a touch of wonder to an otherwise ordinary lake. Ah, Bigfoot, the iconic puzzle of the paranormal world. In this particular footage, a hiker had an encounter with a creature lurking among the bushes, which he believes can only be the legendary Bigfoot. Watching the footage, you can see why he thinks that. The creature in question has got a lot of fur and a build that's not common to any human or ape. There's no way it's even a bear. Looking at its posture and speed of movement, however, I'm tempted to think we're dealing with a much older Bigfoot. Either that, or someone put in a lot of effort simply to prank us. What do you think? Late night drives on deserted highways can be eerie, but when you encounter something strange on the road, it can truly send shivers down your spine. In this unsettling tale, a woman was navigating the empty highway when her headlights revealed a mysterious figure walking in the darkness. This figure wore a white robe, their identity obscured by the shadows. 
Initially, the woman's alarm bells rang loudly, as any unexpected encounter on a desolate road can be quite unnerving. But her compassionate instincts kicked in, and she decided to turn around, giving this enigmatic figure the benefit of the doubt. Upon her return, she finally got a better look at the person. To her surprise, it was a woman. This bizarre and eerie encounter raises so many questions. What was this woman doing on that lonely highway cloaked in a white robe? Was there a purpose to her presence, or was this a truly unsettling coincidence? Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Imagine this picturesque scene. A group of skilled fishermen navigating the waters in their boat, fishing rods strategically positioned for that perfect catch. As they smoothly make a turn to the left, little do they know they're about to cross paths with a colossal weathered crocodile that leisurely sprawled nearby. The dusty giant, seemingly undisturbed until now, is suddenly provoked by the commotion caused by the unsuspecting fisherman. With a powerful, almost ominous presence, the croc abruptly shifts its attention toward the boat, awakened from its tranquil state. It's the moment that turns a routine fishing day into an unexpected encounter with the wild. Quite the thrilling twist, wouldn't you say? Imagine being in the woods and hearing strange sounds, although you know no one is there except you. What would you do in that situation? Leave, right? But not the one recording this clip. He goes on a search for the strange sound until he discovers this, a naked human being crawling through the mud with dirt on some parts of its body. This leaves you wondering, how did such a man get there and why is he crawling in the dirt? Could it be a lure to bring unexpected explorers out and harm them, or is this whole thing a setup for some views? It's hard to tell since there was no follow-up video or commentary, but what do you think? This next clip is certainly one for the books. A couple in California had a rather unusual ghostly encounter in their home. They set up a monitor in their baby's room to keep an eye on their little one, but as they watched the baby on a separate camera in the living room, something utterly bizarre unfolded. Out of the blue, a ghostly hand makes its appearance waving at the camera before disappearing as mysteriously as it arrived. Now, you'd think this kind of experience would send most folks running for the hills, but not this couple. They remain surprisingly unfazed by the encounter. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out they firmly believe that their home is haunted, and this isn't the first strange occurrence they've encountered. Instead of running, they're looking forward to an exorcism. What do you think? Let's take a deep dive into a particularly intriguing tale of a cryptid encounter where a trail camera played a pivotal role in capturing an enigmatic and unusual figure. The image depicts a creature with a body that appears eerily human, yet its head is a stark contrast, resembling that of a canine, and it even boasts a tail. This cryptid discovery raises a plethora of questions. Could this strange figure be a result of some unusual genetic mutation, or a rare natural occurrence that has managed to remain hidden in plain sight for centuries? Or does it represent something even more perplexing, perhaps an entity beyond our current understanding of the natural world? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. In the vivid landscapes of Silverton, Colorado, under the scorching afternoon sun, a unique adventure unfolds. Our recorder, engaged in a road adventure through this captivating terrain, had their attention diverted by a remarkable sight. Amidst the natural splendor, they captured a glimpse of a towering brown and hairy creature. 
A voice in the video's background whispers of an enigmatic being appearing deeply engrossed in a mysterious quest before suddenly coming to a rest. As excitement builds, another voice chimes in, emphatically identifying this elusive figure as a Sasquatch. It's an elusive creature. All right, just squat it down. Yeah, let me see your camera, I'll do it. The sight of this creature stirs the imagination and fuels the ongoing quest to unlock the secrets of these fabled and mysterious creatures that, according to legends, roam the remote and untamed landscapes of Silverton. But what do you think about this Sasquatch sighting, real or fake? Share your thoughts with us. In a place that defies familiarity, a bone-chilling spectacle unravels before a bewildered group of onlookers. They've managed to capture a genuinely hair-raising moment that'll send shivers down your spine. Here we are, facing a man who seems to have become a vessel for some unearthly malevolent force. As the possessed man spirals into a disturbing frenzy, the air fills with his unearthly hair-raising sounds and ominous warnings. It's as if a sinister omen from the other side has found its way into the realm, casting a sinister shadow over this nightmarish encounter. But what's truly petrifying is how this man, consumed by whatever holds him, vehemently repels anyone attempting to draw near. It's almost like he's fighting off an unseen evil that refuses to release its grip, a struggle that unfolds with terrifying intensity. So here's the bone-chilling question that lingers. Has a malevolent spirit ensnared this man's very soul? Is he held captive by a force so sinister it defies comprehension? Or could this be an elaborate and sinister charade, a performance that blurs the lines between reality and nightmare? There are some who believe it's a hoax, but it's just too chilling and scary to be. <laughs> Next, we have a video clip that reveals the remains of a dinosaur, specifically a T-Rex in the heart of the woods. The uploader had the paranormal and dinosaur enthusiasts community believing that he had indeed filmed a T-Rex. As you'd expect with such a revelation, it was met with debates as well as a lot of skepticism. But could he be telling the truth? Well, if any living dinosaurs indeed remained from the tumultuous events millennia ago, this capture might just be the evidence many needed. I mean, if you take a closer look, you'd see flesh, meaning it's a fresh kill. As the debates raged on, the uploader had an epiphany and came online to clarify all misconceptions. In fact, he revealed the footage originated from a German museum theme park. The park had fashioned a replica of a deceased T-Rex, simulating its appearance after gradual decomposition and becoming part of the Earth. It was meant to be an educational tool, but the uploader saw an opportunity to get rich and famous. Unfortunately for him, he was called out and came out to apologize to the community and all who believed it. But do you think he should be let off on such an easy note? Next, we have footage from a person who was exploring an abandoned sewer. What he discovered is strange enough to send shivers down your spine. Behind a wall, there was a peculiar creature. Its large, glowing eyes and body, thin arms, made it unlike any animal they'd ever encountered. The moment the creature realized it wasn't alone, it quickly retreated into the darkness. It all happened so fast, leaving the explorer both puzzled and intrigued. The mystery was all but one. What exactly was that creature doing in the depths of the abandoned sewer, and why did it make itself scarce once it realized it was not alone? These are questions we may never have answers to. Do you? What do you think that this is? Many in the paranormal community were quick to call it a Bigfoot, but I must say that I don't blame them. But is it, though? Let's take a critical look. 
While it does appear to have a huge dark body with a lot of fur, a critical look at its body and you'll realize that some stuff is off. It feels more like a man in a costume than it does the legendary Bigfoot. If you pay attention to its gait too, it's eerily very human, but perhaps that's just me. What could we be dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Still on stealthy reptiles, on a serene day far from the bustling world, an enchanting scene unfolds in the wilderness. A graceful doe, perhaps savoring a rare moment of tranquil respite, approaches the water's edge. Its measured movements hint at a profound connection with the natural world, as if crafting a memory to be etched in time. Yet nature's drama is rarely far behind, and this peaceful interlude is suddenly disrupted. With uncanny swiftness, a silent, lurking predator emerges. A croc, a relic of prehistoric times. Its presence shatters the stillness, a cruel reminder that survival in the wild is a relentless dance of life and death. The croc surges forward, jaws agape, its singular intent clear to ensnare the unsuspecting doe securing its next meal. But in the intricate web of this ancient wilderness, even the prey can be a marvel of resilience. As the croc closes in, the doe's instincts ignite. It springs into action, defying gravity in a breathtaking leap, soaring to unimaginable heights. In that split second, the tables turn and the croc's prize slips through its grasp. The doe's acrobatic evasion is nothing short of astonishing, a testament to the primal strength that flows through every sinew. The encounter remains shrouded in mystery, the exact location obscured by the vastness of remote wilderness. Yet this fleeting spectacle of survival leaves an indelible mark on our understanding of the untamed world, where every day, every moment is a story of life's fierce determination and nature's uncompromising balance. Behold the enchanting theater of the skies as unveiled in this captivating footage. At Angel Creek, nestled near the iconic Chimney Rock, a celestial performance commences. As we journey through time, we find that even in the days of old, the heavens served as humanity's cosmic timepiece. In this video, the clouds dance with an almost urgent rhythm, orchestrating a changing of the guard, a celestial relay from the brightest star to the night's radiant guardian, the moon. Watch as the fast-paced clouds create a shifting canvas in the sky. With each moment's transition, the very essence of the weather transformed before our eyes. The clouds unite in a mass, casting shadows across the land. Day gracefully seeds to evening, and the world is cloaked in twilight. The skies, now painted in hues of white, black, red, and yellow, cradle the moon at their center as if protecting a cherished secret. Behold the crescent moon gracing the canvas with its presence. Upon closer scrutiny, it reveals a full circle of its luminous form, a celestial enigma and a testament to the wonders of the universe. In this moment, the world bears witness to nature's grand spectacle. As we gaze upon this celestial ballet, one cannot help but ponder the cosmic wonders that envelop us. Is this a common sight in your corner of the world? As it is with this video where viewers from far and wide share the same awe, it's clear that such celestial displays remain timeless, evoking wonder and reverence for the boundless mysteries of our cosmos. Now, I know I went full Shakespeare and poetry there, but <laughs> what can I say? A beautiful moon is a way of bringing out the poet in me. Deep in the heart of the woods, where mystery and nature converge, a trail camera managed to capture a spine-chilling image that sent shivers down the spines of all who laid their eyes upon it. The creature in the photograph was a creature of the night, its dark and mesmerizing eyes like portals to an unknown realm staring unflinchingly into the camera lens. It was a scene so disturbing and unnerving that it seemed like it had been plucked from the darkest corners of our imagination. 
The experts who analyzed the photograph were divided concerning its authenticity. This eerie presence could be anything from a lone coyote, a vigilant wolf, to the elusive and terrifying entity known as the rake. Throughout history, folklore, and bedtime stories, tales of fantastical creatures have filled our imaginations, from mischievous goblins to ethereal unicorns and enchanting fairies. These magical beings have long captivated our thoughts, but their existence has remained a subject of mystery and wonder. Recently, there have been alleged fairy encounters that have left people wondering if these creatures truly exist. The evidence, while intriguing, still leaves room for skepticism. Yep. Fairies live there. One encounter led a woman to discover a tiny house made from a tree stump in the middle of the woods, covered in lush moss. She believed it to be a fairy house, a doorway to their hidden world. In another instance, a security camera captured the image of a tiny humanoid creature seemingly flying over a woman. Many have speculated that this could be a fairy sighting. Watch this footage. What do you think? Are we truly dealing with fairies or are the people in question seeing things that don't exist? In the stillness of the night, a security camera captures what I like to describe as an unsettling scene. A spectral figure, lacking a head or arms, meandering through the abandoned streets with an otherworldly grace. It cast a haunting ambience over the surroundings, leaving onlookers spellbound by its mysterious presence. As expected, people who have chanced upon this video say it's another witch escapade. Now, as we navigate this, what do you make of this spectral wanderer? You know, it's all about experience and quick thinking when you're out in the wild. This video is like a crash course in dealing with potential predators. So here's the deal. In the video, there's something lurking beneath the water and you can't see it right away. But as for our recorder, they've got some tricks up their sleeve. They've probably been in situations like this before and know what to look out for. Instead of just being a sitting duck, they decide to take matters into their own hands. They grab a stick and toss it into the water, basically fooling the alligator. It's like a game of wits and the alligator falls for it, showing its true colors. Attack before your opponent gets to prepare you could be the takeaway. What do you think? So this freaking thing, uh, it's staring at me. It followed me home from the gifting rock. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now. I think I'm gonna, I don't know what to do. A man and his family had moved closer to nature, or simply put, the woods, because, well, who wouldn't, right? But after being out on a late night exploration, the man makes a chilling discovery. There was a pair of glowing eyes following him. Not knowing what to do, he stood there for minutes, hoping they'd go away, but they didn't. He decided to record it, and that's what you were seeing on your screen. Was that the only time? Well, apparently not. These eyes have apparently been following other members when it's dark. Creepy, right? So what do you think they could be dealing with? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. This next footage was captured by a woman who noticed something strange going on the floor of her compound. Mysterious glowing patterns had manifested on the ground, creating an otherworldly spectacle that defied explanation. The patterns were reminiscent of the way light plays on the surface of water, forming a mesmerizing display that seemed almost too perfect to be real. But it didn't stop there. The strange patterns weren't confined to the ground alone. They appeared on the walls and even on people, particularly children who were playing in the area. It was as if an unforeseen force had decided to paint the world with its cryptic brush. 
As anyone would in such a situation, the woman began to wonder about the origins of this surreal phenomena. Was there a scientific explanation behind it? Could it be some peculiar interplay of light and materials that caused these patterns to emerge, or was there something more otherworldly at play, something beyond our understanding? Imagine enjoying your time at the beach and then having a shark suddenly show up. Irrespective of who you are, you're bound to be left in fear. That's exactly what happens in our next footage, but instead of coming for humans, it actually followed its lunch to the shore. In the footage, we see a determined gray shark that's journeyed so far to get its prey home, a thornback ray. The shark captures it by its tail, but the ray isn't having any of it, and it's not prepared to be anyone's lunch. It puts up a strong fight to release itself from the shark. Wiggling throughout, it's set free, and in frustration, the shark retreats with a wiggling tail back to where it came from, miles away in deeper waters. While the shark may not have succeeded in getting its meal, it did succeed in giving the beachgoers something to enjoy and watch. Chernobyl has been a restricted area because of how radioactive the place is. However, an image that was retrieved from one of the radioactive sites has left people talking. In the image, you've got what looks like a dog, but not your average tail-wagging companion. This poor thing seems to have taken a hit from the radiation, with patches of fur missing and its jaws wide open in what can only be described as a seriously menacing pose. And, oh, let's not forget the slightly creepy yellowish glow in its eyes. Radiation chic, perhaps? Now, this theory of this being a mutated dog leaves me to wonder if there are other living beings there that have also mutated. Either way, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for staying with us. Did you have a favorite? Are there trail cams you'd want us to feature more? Please tell us in the comments section. And if you have any trail cam footage you'd like the rest of the world to see, please send it over to us at classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll upload it in our next episode and give you the credit, unless you want to remain anonymous. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out a ton. See you in the next one.